What really happened to Kiefer Sutherland? Star in Series 24. Kiefer Sutherland was born Kiefer William Frederick Dempsey George Rufus Sutherland on 21 December 1966, in Paddington, London, England, to actors Donald Sutherland and Shirley Douglas. His parents divorced when he was four. In 1975, his mother relocated to Toronto, taking him with her. He did his schooling at Crescent Town Elementary School and John G. Althouse Middle School in Toronto and changed high schools five times. He also took weekend acting lessons to hone his acting skills. Sutherland made his screen debut in Max Duggan Returns, in which his father Donald Sutherland also starred. Sutherland was one of the contenders for the role of Glenn Lance in the original A Nightmare on Elm Street 1984, which ultimately became Johnny Depp's feature film debut. After receiving critical acclaim for his role as Donald Campbell in The Bay Boy, Sutherland moved to Hollywood. Stand By Me was the first film Sutherland made in the United States. In the film, directed by Rob Reiner, he played a neighborhood bully in a coming-of-age story about a search for a dead body. Before that, he played a silent, supporting character, as one of Sean Penn's friends who goes up against Christopher Walken in James Foley's crime thriller at close range. His film Promised Land, with Meg Ryan, was the first film to be commissioned by the Sundance Film Festival and was released in 1988. His role as Vampire David in The Lost Boys is one of his iconic roles in his career reviews by many critics and audiences. In the Western film Young Guns 1988, he starred alongside Emilio Estevez and Lou Diamond Phillips. He was considered for the role of Robin in Batman 1989, alongside Michael Keaton, in the early production before the character was deleted from the shooting script. He went on to star again with his close friend Lou Diamond Phillips, in the crime action film Renegades. That same year, he and his father appeared at the 61st Academy Awards as presenters of the Academy Honorary Award to the National Film Board of Canada. In the 1990 sci-fi thriller, Flatliners, he starred with Julia Roberts, Kevin Bacon, William Baldwin, and Oliver Platt, as one of the five medical students researching life beyond death. In 1992, he acted in the psychological thriller, Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me, and had a more significant role in the Oscar-nominated film, A Few Good Men, as Lieutenant Jonathan James Kendrick. In 1993, Sutherland starred alongside Jeff Bridges and Nancy Travis in The Vanishing, an unconvincing remake of a Franco-Dutch thriller, and The Three Musketeers which received negative reviews, but did well commercially. In the 1996 crime thriller, Eye for an Eye, he played Robert Dube, a serial killer. The film also starred Sally Field and Ed Harris and was criticized for its promotion of vigilantism. He had a supporting role in the Joel Schumacher-directed 1996 box office hit, A Time to Kill. The movie starred Matthew McConaughey, Sandra Bullock, Samuel L. Jackson, and Kevin Spacey. Now considered a cult classic, Dark City, the sci-fi film of 1998, starred the actor Rufus Sewell, Jennifer Connelly, and William Hurt. The film received many awards in film festivals around the world. In 2000, he co-starred with Woody Allen in the black comedy Picking Up the Pieces, but the film was received poorly by both commercial audiences and by critics. Since then, Sutherland has starred in small projects and festival-released films. He starred in the film Beat, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in 2000. He also appeared in the 2001 film Cowboy Up which won the Crystal Heart Award at the 2001 Heartland Film Festival. He also starred in the film To End All Wars, which won two awards at the Heartland Film Festival and one award at the Hawaii International Film Festival. Since 2001, Sutherland has been associated most widely with the role of Jack Bauer on the critically acclaimed television series 24. Drama Series Primetime Emmy Award 
Sutherland won the award in 2006 for his role in 24's fifth season. In the opening skit of the 2006 Primetime Emmy Awards, Sutherland made an appearance as his 24 characters, Jack Bauer. He was also nominated for Best Actor in a Drama Television Series at the 2007 Golden Globe Awards for 24. According to his 2006 contract, his salary of $40 million for three seasons of the show made him the highest earning actor on television. Sutherland holding his check for the one second film, 2006 Sutherland constantly emphasizes that the show is mere entertainment. Due to his extensive schedule with 24, he spent less time in the film. In 2004, he starred in Taking Lives, alongside Angelina Jolie and Ethan Hawke, in which he had a flashy cameo. In The Sentinel 2006, he starred alongside Michael Douglas, as his protege and he also starred in Disney's The Wild where he voiced the character, Samson. He played the lead roles in Alexander Asia's Supernatural Horror, Mirrors 2008. In 2009, he joined DreamWorks animated film Monsters vs. Aliens, reuniting him with actress Reese Witherspoon with whom he starred in Freeway. Monsters vs. Aliens is Sutherland's highest grossing film to date. The actor is also a frequent collaborator with director Joel Schumacher and has appeared in The Lost Boys, Flatliners, Phone Booth, the big screen adaptation of A Time to Kill, and 12 as the narrator. In 2005, Sutherland was inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame in Toronto, where both of his parents have also been inducted. He ranked number 68 on the 2006 Forbes Celebrity 100 list of the world's most powerful celebrities, his earnings were a reported $23 million. In 2009, he was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sutherland was the first inside the actor's studio guest to be the child of a former guest. His father, Donald, appeared on the show in 1998. Sutherland with longtime friend Randy Lennox on the set of Designated Survivor he has starred in Japanese commercials for Calorie Mate, performing a parody of his Jack Bauer character. Sutherland also provides voiceovers for the current ad campaign for the Ford Motor Company of Canada. In mid-2006, he voiced the Apple, Inc. advertisement announcing the inclusion of Intel chips in their Macintosh computer line. He also voices the introduction to NHL games on the Versus Network in the U.S. On 14 February 2010, Fox TV announced they were temporarily suspending production of season 8 of 24 due to a ruptured cyst near one of Sutherland's kidneys. According to the report, he waited a few days before going in to have elective surgery performed. In the 2011 drama thriller Melancholia directed by Lars von Trier, he played the male lead character and got the chance to share the screen with long-lost co-stars such as Charlotte Rampling and John Hurt, the film in which Kiefer. In The Reluctant Fundamentalist 2013, the best-selling novel adaptation directed by Mira Nair, he played a supporting character for newcomer Riz Ahmed, as a boss named Jim Cross. In the 2014 historical disaster movie, Pompeii, directed by Paul W.S. Anderson, he played a corrupt Roman senator who plotted to stop the love between the city ruler's daughter and a Roman slave whose family was killed by the senator. Sutherland also provided narration for several promotional spots for the United States men's national soccer team during the 2014 FIFA World Cup for ESPN. He has appeared in a Brazilian TV commercial for Citroën C4 Sedan and a voiceover for a commercial for Bank of America. He voices Sergeant Roebuck in Treyarch's video game Call of Duty, World at War and voices Snake in the video game Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes and its sequel Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain, taking over the role originally performed by David Hayter. In 2011, Sutherland made his Broadway debut, opposite Brian Cox, Jim Gaffigan, Chris Noth, and Jason Patrick, in the Broadway revival of that championship season, which opened in March 2011. The show has since closed. In 2012, 
Sutherland starred in the Fox television series Touch. He played the father of an autistic boy who does not like to be touched, while the son also communicates future humanity interrelated events to his father through numbers and mathematics. On 14 May 2013, it was confirmed that the show 24 would return for a limited series. Before that, he was also offered the lead role in the NBC drama The Blacklist. In May and July 2014, Fox aired the 12-episode 24, Live Another Day, which received acclaimed reviews from critics. Although he did not appear in 2017's 24, Legacy, he was the show's executive producer. After working in the movie industry for more than 30 years, he had the chance to star with his father, Donald Sutherland, in the Western drama film Forsaken, which also stars Demi Moore and Brian Cox. The film screened at the Toronto International Film Festival and received mixed reviews from critics. In 2015, it was announced that Sutherland was cast in the lead role of the former ABC political drama series designated Survivor as Tom Kirkman, the President of the United States. The show was renewed by Netflix for a third season which was released on 7 June 2019. In 2016, Sutherland released his first album, Down in a Hole, and a music video for Not Enough Whiskey from the album. The country music songs were written by Sutherland and Jude Cole. The Kiefer Sutherland Band toured in April and May of that year and debuted at the Grand Ole Opry on June 6, 2016. The band performed in Scotland and in Las Vegas in 2019. The band's second album, Reckless and Me, was released in April 2019. Sutherland Plays Debt Clay Bryce in the American action thriller television series The Fugitive, which premiered on August 3, 2020. In personal life, Sutherland was married to Camelia Kath from 1987 to 1990 and had a daughter with her. Camelia was the widow of Chicago band member Terry Kath. He became the stepfather to Camilla's two sons. He was engaged to actress Julia Roberts, but the actress broke the engagement over Sutherland's alleged affair with a stripper. He later married Kelly Wynn, but the two are now divorced. The actor is a guitar collector and a fan of the Queen. He follows American football avidly, USC Trojans being his favorite. He is also an auto racing enthusiast and follows NASCAR events. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Kiefer Sutherland. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.